In the heart of a sunny December afternoon in 1945, the air buzzed with the routine hum of training exercises. A squadron of five torpedo bomber aircraft, under the banner of the U.S. Navy, took off from the shores of Florida. This mission, dubbed Flight 19, seemed like any other mundane training drill, a mere blip in the grand tapestry of wartime activities. Led by their seasoned flight leader, a veteran of the skies, the 14 crew members embarked on what was expected to be a routine three-hour jaunt. Little did they know, they were about to become part of one of the most enduring mysteries of the 20th century. As the plane soared eastward, the clear skies provided a serene backdrop to their maneuvers. But then, roughly two hours into the flight, chaos erupted. The squadron leader's voice crackled over the radio, reporting sudden compass malfunctions. Both primary and backup compasses had failed, leaving the crew disoriented and adrift in a sea of uncertainty. With no reliable means of navigation, panic set in as the pilots desperately sought guidance from their comrades, only to find their instruments plagued by the same mysterious ailment. Amidst the growing confusion, Lieutenant Charles Taylor, the squadron leader, made a critical decision. Believing they were over the Gulf of Mexico, he instructed the planes to turn eastward, aiming to return to the safety of Florida's shores. However, dissent brewed among the crew as conflicting perceptions of their location sowed discord. Some believed they were already east of Florida, advocating for a westward course correction. The discord only intensified as the weather took a turn for the worse, with dusk descending into an inky veil of night. At precisely 7.04 p.m., the crackle of Lieutenant Taylor's voice marked the final communication from Flight 19. In the ensuing silence, the five planes vanished without a trace, leaving behind a void of unanswered questions and unspoken fears. Thus began a saga of mystery and intrigue that would come to be synonymous with the enigmatic expanse known as the Bermuda Triangle. In the wake of Flight 19's disappearance, the U.S. Navy launched a search and rescue mission dispatching a Mariner aircraft with 13 souls aboard to scour the ocean depths for any sign of the lost squadron. Yet, tragically, the rescue mission itself fell victim to the same inexplicable fate, vanishing into the ether alongside its predecessors. What followed was a Herculean effort, as an armada of ships and aircraft combed the waters of the Bermuda Triangle in a desperate bid to unravel the mystery shrouding Flight 19 and its ill-fated rescuers. Yet, despite their exhaustive efforts, no trace of either group was ever found. The Bermuda Triangle, with its sinister reputation as a watery graveyard, looms large in the annals of maritime lore. Spanning an area of over 500,000 square miles between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda, this triangular expanse has been the stage for over a century of inexplicable vanishings. From the days of Christopher Columbus, who reputedly witnessed strange lights dancing on the horizon, to the modern era of advanced seafaring technology, the Bermuda Triangle has cast a long shadow over the imaginations of sailors and aviators alike. The origins of the Bermuda Triangle's mystique can be traced back to the early 20th century, when reports of inexplicable occurrences began to filter into the public consciousness. Tales of ships vanishing without a trace, planes disappearing into thin air, and compasses spinning wildly out of control captured the public's imagination, giving rise to a litany of theories and conjectures. One such theory posits that the Bermuda Triangle is a hotbed of extraterrestrial activity, with alien beings purportedly snatching unsuspecting vessels from the surface of the ocean. Another hypothesis suggests the presence of a colossal sea monster lurking beneath the waves, its tentacled grasp dragging unwary ships to a watery grave. Yet, for all their sensationalism, these theories fail to hold water under closer scrutiny. Instead, a more grounded explanation emerges, one rooted in the scientific realities of the natural world. One such theory implicates the region's magnetic anomalies, where the Earth's magnetic field behaves erratically, causing compasses to malfunction and navigational instruments to go haywire. Known as agonic lines, these magnetic anomalies have been known to intersect with the Bermuda Triangle, creating a veritable minefield of navigational hazards 
for unsuspecting sailors and pilots. Furthermore, the region's shallow waters and propensity for violent weather phenomena, including hurricanes and waterspouts, pose significant challenges to maritime navigation. The convergence of warm and cold ocean currents, most notably the Gulf Stream, further complicates matters, creating treacherous conditions for seafarers navigating the Bermuda Triangle's turbulent waters. Yet, perhaps the most compelling explanation lies not in the realm of the supernatural, but in the quirks of human psychology. Known as the bader meinhof effect, or frequency illusion, this phenomenon describes the tendency of individuals to perceive patterns or connections in random events. In the case of the Bermuda Triangle, the prominence of reported disappearances has led to a heightened awareness of incidents within the region, amplifying their perceived significance in the public consciousness. In reality, however, disappearances within the Bermuda Triangle are no more frequent than in other heavily trafficked maritime regions. The United States Coast Guard has categorically stated that there is no evidence to suggest that the Bermuda Triangle poses any greater risk to navigation than any other area of the ocean. Instead, they attribute the region's mystique to a combination of natural phenomena and human error, dispelling the notion of a malevolent force lurking within its bounds. As the sun sets on the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle, the veil of mystery that once shrouded its waters begins to lift, revealing a landscape shaped by the ebb and flow of natural forces. While tales of vanished ships and aircraft may continue to captivate the imagination, the truth, it seems, lies not in the realm of the supernatural, but in the immutable laws of physics and the capricious whims of the natural world. And so, as we navigate the murky depths of the Bermuda Triangle's lore, let us remember that sometimes, the greatest mysteries of all are those that lie within ourselves.